Hey guys, so this is the website wireframe that we use for most of our clients. We work with a lot of people in the software industry, coaching and training companies, um, high ticket or premium e-commerce companies that basically sell a really high ticket or kind of premium product. Now, if you are in the coaching and training space, or if you're in the software space or anywhere in the high ticket space, be, um, this is going to be the, the process that you use. I think a lot of people overcomplicate funnels and they overcomplicate websites when in reality it's it's pretty simple, right? Like it, it can, it's about what you say on the website. It's about the marketing video. It's not so much about the design, although the design can help later on when you're spending a lot of money on paid traffic, trying to get better impressions and better cost per lead. But the reality is you can be pretty simple with it. So as you can see right here, you basically just have your little header. This is very, very simple. You have a headline. This is the most important thing. So you'll be getting your claim from the case studies that you have, and you need to you know, hit us up if you need help making a headline that actually works on cold traffic or makes works on outbound traffic. But this is this is really where the money is made is the video sales letter. So you've probably seen video sales letters. Some of them are 50 minutes long. Some of them are two minutes long. But the reality is your video sales letter is going to do all the heavy lifting for you. So if you are a, a, a company that requires education in order to purchase, a VSL is going to be the ultimate way to do that. And the reality is you can't really sell effectively on paid traffic without some form of education. All right. So that can be in written content or it can be in a video and you can just double up and slap your video on the website as well if it's working. So this is really what's going to drop your cost per lead. And it's really what's going to drop your cost to acquire a customer CPA. And then you can, you know, if you're a coaching and training company, maybe you just send them to an application. If you're a software company, you just push them through to the checkout or you push them through to the, the demo, right? So very simple stuff. And then underneath the video sales letter, we have a framework for this if you need to need help writing and producing one, but case studies are below that. So whatever your best case studies are, let's say that you are a coaching and training company for, uh, and you, you specialize in finance, right? So you're coaching and training on finance. You have a couple case studies of people who went from a uh, $50,000 $50, portfolio all the way up to $150,000 portfolio in, let's say, two years, right? So that could be your case study number one. And then maybe you had someone retire early and that was a good case study for you. And then next you had someone retire their parents, right? So that's another case study, all right? And then if you're a software company, it might be a little bit more soft, right? And not so tangible, but let's say you have a sales CRM and someone closed a $10,000 deal from that. That's your first case study. And then the second case study, maybe a company is willing to share some more information and they actually added you know, $10,000 MRR to their bottom line because of your CRM, then you put that right here. All right. So you collect your case studies. These are a little bit different than testimonials because they show a little bit more proof and tangible results like a before and after. And then underneath that, you reiterate who it's for from the case studies, the customer or the person landing on the page should have an understanding of this. But again, you just want to call out who it's for. So whether this is a written text thing or whether it's a video or some sort of interactive part of the website that's designed a little nice or a little nicer you pretty much just want to call out who it's for. So this is, you know, if you're a financial coach, for example, this is for people ages 20 to, to or 25 to 35 who have a six figure career, um, but don't know where to put their money, right? So that could be something. And then how it works below this, this is where you share your steps. So if you have a process or if you have a methodology, this is where you have to show it off. People don't buy stuff that's old and they don't buy stuff that doesn't have something unique about it, right? So you have to show off what's unique. Let's say if you're selling a supplement here, you explain your ingredients and how you make it and why it's different. And you can kind of adapt that to a supplement product page. If you're selling a coaching and training um, program, you can kind of go through your steps or go through your curriculum here. And then if you're selling like a software, you can explain how it's different from everyone, everyone else in the market right here. So how it works, what are they actually going to do and what are they going to go through in order to get results? You have to remember that you're not listing features here. You're actually giving them a step-by-step -step guide to achieve the results. So if you're a software company that has that CRM, that CRM example, step one would be migrate all your data effortlessly. Step two could be, you know, reorganize your pipeline so that it's way more efficient. Your sales team can blah, 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 get better results. Number three, start selling and booking calls, demos, and purchases or deposits uh, with, with half the effort in half the time. Right. And then you explain some of your automations and stuff that you have in the CRM next scale your sales team easily with simple seat based pricing. Right. And then number five, you could say easily view all your data in the data dashboard. And then number six is like scale your company to X, Y, and Z. All right. So it's kind of a step-by-step -step process to the end result, which is they want to scale. And that's why they're getting a CRM. Right. So 
make sure that you're not listing features here. You can tie in the features and the benefits, but it's actually just the steps that are required to succeed. And then after this, you just have your final call to action. So this is where you put your offer, all right? Whatever your offer is, maybe it's a 14 day free trial if you're in software, or maybe it's a free demo and a free migration setup if you're a software. If you're a coaching and training company, you're gonna have to be a bit more creative here and make it more in depth. We guarantee you X, Y, and Z result. Otherwise you get your money back, right? Book a call, or we'll give you a free 15 minute audit of your financials on this call, right? So you're trying to book a call, you're trying to get an application, or you're just trying to go directly to a purchase. So of course, if you're a supplement company or something like that, or an e-commerce company, you're going to have to adapt this. This is not the exact framework that you would use, but when it comes to a little bit higher ticket stuff, this is pretty much the exact framework. And again, we've worked with software companies, uh, e-commerce companies, and coaching and training companies, and quite a few others, B2B companies that all use this framework to achieve success. It's just a matter of how do you tweak it slightly to make it work exactly for you. Remember that the headline and the VSL are the one, are the things that are gonna move the needle the most. So hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments if that was useful to you. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.